So, the snooze button. Where do we start? I mean, you know, we've all done it. We all continue to do it. And, you know, when you start to engage in a morning routine, especially, you know, a 5 a.m. or a 4 a.m., depending on what time you choose, it's very difficult to not hit that snooze button. So, in my earlier video about, um, you know, the 5 a.m. club, then, you know, some good tactics tactics in there to, to make sure you don't, you know, waking up, making sure you're feeling active, make sure you've got a purpose to wake up. But there's two things the snooze button does. Uh, one is um, you're telling your dreams that they don't care. And, you know, that's not good for your, for your mental state. So, you know, but you, you're basically saying that having an extra five or 10 minutes kip is more important than achieving what you want to achieve in life. So for me, it sends a bad signal. Uh, two, it's actually proven that it makes you less rested by doing it because you, it confuses your body and it puts you in a, you've gone from a deep sleep to awake to back to um, another deep sleep cycle and it kind of confuses your body a bit. So um, I, it's, some, it's known as sleep inertia. So don't do it. You've really got to get away from doing it. And my, the best way that I found to do it is I almost talked myself into it the night before. So I'm like, I get myself excited for, okay, uh, when my alarm goes off, I can't wait to get back and, you know, get after that task and, you know, cause it's going to do that for me. And, you know, the ultimate goal is to achieve that and, you know, getting, getting those extra hours in, um, you know, on that morning, the focus time, no one around, you know, uninterrupted. Uh, I'm going to crush my goals by doing that. And I kind of self-taught myself and um, I know, sometimes if I go to bed and I haven't done that, or even sometimes when I go to bed and I'm thinking, oh, I haven't really got anything pressing tomorrow. And, you know, it doesn't really matter if I don't get up and do that. I always end up sleeping in, you know, I'll hit that snooze button. I'll, 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 I'll end up waking up later. And then I'm frustrated with myself because I haven't executed on my day. And that happens very, very, very few times right now. But at the beginning, uh, you know, it, it happened a lot. And it's, it's something that you've got to get into the habit of doing. Now I tend to wake up before my alarm even goes off. Uh, but, you know, I've done this now for five years and it's, it's, it's a habit. It's formed. It's consistency. It's part of my life. Um, but at the beginning, you've got to kind of battle through these, these little um, speed bumps. And you will get there. You will get there. It's not, it's not easy, but you will get there. Just push through. Give yourself some self-talk the night before. And just know that hitting that snooze button is not a good idea. If you've got a phone where you can get rid of the snooze button, then even better. Or you could take this one step further and buy an actual old school alarm and keep it out of the room. So you've actually got to physically get out of bed and go and hit that alarm um, or set your phone up you know, away from, from the bed. So you've got to get out and you've, you've got to go to a different room. So depending on how it suits, but you know, that's one other thing that you could do as well. Um, but don't hit the snooze button and you will see much more productivity in your life.